what we set out to do was to look closely at the evidence of student learning when simple ICT tools such as mobile technologies and digital media were being used. It was important to underpin the project with a professional learning program for teachers that focused on the pedagogy necessary to enable them to take risks and to make better sense of how to use digital tools for authentic student learning. One consideration in taking teachers outside their comfort zone was to ensure the technology tools were simple and another was to facilitate continuous critical and reflective conversations. As a group, we discussed and critiqued student work and we concluded that using simple digital tools did contribute to changing classroom practice and enabled higher quality student learning. Confidence and being familiar with the technology was important, but the real focus was on student learning. I wanted to help my students use filmmaking to investigate and report on the impact of an introduced species on a local environment. Uh, my students visited Calpham Station to investigate the issues surrounding feral pigs and then worked together to create a television news report. I found that ICT engaged students with the course material and motivated them to produce a professional and well presented news report. Learning was easily tracked and shared through student reflective journals and the final product. Through this process I realised that it is important to teach students how to effectively produce a news report. The quality of research, story development, camera work and editing skills are all critical. What I saw was the effective use of media text to give students a powerful voice. I worked harder and made sure my news report was perfect because there was a real audience. Because the technology was simple, for example flip cameras, microphones and iPods, it didn't get in the way. Instead, it complemented and strengthened aspects of the investigation and the quality of the outcomes. I wanted to use technology to help my students understand some of the more challenging concepts of physics in my Year 8 science class. As physics is not my area of expertise, I wanted to make the topic more engaging for both myself and the students. The students used iPod Nanos to record some of their brainstorming sessions on the concepts of forces, which then morphed into explicit teaching of the different types of forces. Students then used digital video cameras to film aspects of their force and produce a 30 second advertisement. Throughout the process, one of the most significant outcomes was the insightful quality of the discussions generated while using the technology. What I saw was not only students being creative and humorous, but articulate and specific about challenging physics concepts through the use of digital media. I found technology allowed them to critically analyse and better understand the concepts of forces. Their technology helped to personalise the learning for students. I wondered if digital video cameras could help my students improve their volleyball skills, actions and techniques. Students filmed each other performing a range of volleyball actions. This was followed by a class critique, detailed feedback and an opportunity to immediately practise and refine their action. By installing a data projector in the gym, we made it easy for the students to cycle through analysis, performance, review, speeding up, skill acquisition and refinement. I found that video and slow motion in particular enabled a thorough critique and deeper reflection. The projector enables students to easily work with each other, identifying areas for improvement and tracking progress over time. This was authentic, just-in-time learning. During video analysis, the students missed critical faults as they were not experienced at analysing motor skills. As well as teaching them volleyball techniques, I also had to teach them to be expert critics. It was great having the projector in the gym. We were able to practice straight away, so we improved much faster. I wanted to use technology to help my students study the 2010 federal election and demonstrate that they could make informed decisions about who they would vote for and why. This project was part of the Australian Government requirements for teaching civics and citizenship. My students considered election promises made during the campaign, creating a weekly digital diary to describe and justify their voting preference. This culminated in students casting a mock vote with the detailed explanations of their final decision. The most significant outcome of the project for me was the quality of discussions and level of questioning generated on the Moodle discussion board. For Year 9 students, this was exceptional. What I saw develop was a genuine, connected, learning community. I've taught this unit several times before, without the use of technologies. 
This group understood and remembered the concepts better than any before them because they were using a medium they were familiar with and enjoyed using. My digital diary made me think deeply about what I wanted to happen in Australia and my friends in the discussion board challenged my thinking even further. There has been a push in our school and in other schools in the region for one-to-one -one learning. What this project really helped us clarify was that one-to-one -one learning doesn't necessarily mean one student to one computer, um, but rather one student to many uh, mobile and personal devices. So for instance, uh, one student to one computer or one iPad, um, one voice recorder, um, one digital video camera, um, or one microphone. What we found is students really own the learning and felt empowered when they actually got to choose the mobile and personal devices um, that best suited a purposeful learning and collaborative tasks.